Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Charles, a.k.a. Eskimo Marine. And uh, I just want to show you this backpack really quick. It is part of the uh, small rucksacks backpack series that I did uh, was about a month ago. Anyway, <clears throat> um, just to let you know, this thing I purchased from the Ukraine and I was using Etsy.com or you can download their uh, application. And um, <clears throat> I just want to I just want to let you know this thing is all leather so um, this thing cost me about $160 after shipping they may have gone up since I bought this I did buy this uh, about two years ago right before I had all of my uh, medical problems which is a uh, stroke heart surgery that was caused by the the stroke and brain surgery, which they found um, after I had the stroke and they're trying to figure out why I was in the hospital. Um, I haven't used it actually though for uh, like day hikes or something like that. This thing is about 19 liters on the main compartment and then I did buy this extra compartment on the bottom. I really like the way this thing looks and that's why I purchased it and had it shipped to me from the Ukraine. I had to wait about four weeks before it reached me. Um, I did use this when I went to the hospital so that I could, you know, carry things and some personal things and have with me. Um, I haven't really used it much though because, uh, there's a couple of things. Um, my wife doesn't like the sound uh, or the excuse me the smell of uh, leather, which I found out when I was in the hospital with this thing. And she 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 could smell it. I I couldn't. I mean I like the smell of uh, leather, so I, how would I uh, notice it? But uh, whatever reason, she didn't care for it. I don't really care if she cares or not. But um, to a point, I do care. Um, anyway, let's take a quick look at it. Um, so you can see here, let's do some quick measurements. This thing measures about 15 inches long, uh, 11 inches wide, and about four and a half inches depth. Now if we take a look at this attachment on here, this thing is uh, four and a quarter inches diameter on this little cylinder on the bottom. I bought this cylinder because it tied in with it. Um, and I figured I could put like a rain jacket or, you know, maybe a little uh, poncho or something like that underneath. Just extra storage. Um, you could also see here that I have like a document holder inside of here, which was useful to me when I was in the hospital. So I could put all my paperwork inside of here, fold it, put it inside. Then you also have two side pockets on here. So let's take a look at the size of those. So we're looking at five and three quarters long by an inch and a quarter depth by about three inches wide. Um, so I figured I could put, you know, like a fire starting kit inside of one pouch and then maybe a very small uh, first aid kit on the side. Or if I wanted a larger first aid kit, I'd put it in a bucket. So let's take a look at the bucket. So inside of this thing, there is a divider in here, so I can put more documents or things like that. And uh, there is a, a zippered pocket within this divider, which is kind of nice. So I can put little knickknacks and things like that inside there. 
and I can just throw everything inside of this little bucket. Um, what's nice is usually most uh, backpacks or rucksacks, um, when you they use this flap as the protection for it. Um, however, if I open this, this thing is obviously covered again. So I do like that feature on this. Uh, and there's there's a little bit of room, not too much, like, you know, maybe uh, three inches more where I could over overstuff this and then put stuff underneath the lid. But there's not a lot of adjustment on this strap. Um, let's flip it over. Um, I like leather because leather is very pliable and you're easy to it's easy for me to take care of it i mean i i put uh snow seal on the entirety of this thing to protect it from water and things like that and you can see that shine on there um i ha i really haven't used it a lot so i can't tell you how rugged this thing is but i mean it looks like it's so rugged um, it's not saddle leather, but it seems like it's high quality leather. And like I said, if you're interested in the way this thing looks, just look on Etsy. And this thing is made in the Ukraine once again. Um, I don't know. That's about all that I have for you. And if you guys have any questions on this thing, please post them. I will answer as soon as I can. And, uh... Have a great day. Thanks for watching.